how many times did we hear Joe Biden say, don't, don't, don't. 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 It's different when they know you'll actually follow through with it. And I think that, you know, in the first administration, when he was tested, we do know when Assad used chemical weapons on his own people, Donald Trump followed through with strikes. We do know that he expelled Russian diplomats from the U.S. when, you know, when Russia was trying to get away with things. So, I mean, Donald Trump always kind of held strong, but his red lines mattered. And I think these leaders... They know what to expect this time. They didn't know it in 2016, but they know what to expect. It's fascinating to me that Justin Trudeau is going to show up at Mar-a-Lago and have dinner and say, oh, we'll help with with Border Patrol. I mean, where have you been? Well, he's like, he's in trouble now. No, absolutely. I mean, like he's 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 in trouble to the right in Canada. Well, Macron's in trouble to the right. And the last thing he wants is Donald Trump calling him out. So, you know, all these people that are coming out now acting like they were there. I mean, Macron sitting there inviting Donald Trump to to the reopening of Notre Dame. Like, I, it's just they, they all are reading the tea leaves. And look, that's good for us. The fact that the rest of the world is starting to take notice, getting their backs a little stiffer, that's good for us.